excuse me. Ow. Okay, so um, let's see. Today, today we are finishing up our our first worksheet for the pneumatic hydraulic stuff, and uh, so. If you haven't got, if you haven't started that, you should definitely start it today. And I'm here essentially to answer questions. It doesn't seem like we have any questions. I haven't had any emails regarding any troubles with this or anything. Um, I am going to just really quickly, so that if you want to get started early, you can. I'm going to go over really quickly the next activity or the next. Uh, uh, Project. I will. I will go over it in great detail on Monday. But I'm just going to go over it really quick today, and then I'll email that out today as well. So, in this, in the guide that I'm going to send you, they have, they have a design um, that is really quite complicated, quite complex. Involves gears, as you can see here. If we if we open up this slideshow here, it involves the use of, uh, let's go back here, involves the use of the plastic uh, bars and the dowels and the sticks and gears and all kinds of things. And while this design is a good design, it is not the design that you're going to build because I have not provided you the same parts that they require for it. So you won't be able to build this design. You will be able to build something similar, however. And that is the idea here. The idea here is to look at a design that is that has already been made, to look at instructions for something that's already made, you've been made. You can see here that they have very specific uh, dimensions and, and a plate and pieces that you put in, and parts that, you know, these sub parts that you're gonna build. Uh, for this design, you're going to build a similar design that does essentially the same kind of thing using the materials that you have in your own kind of experience with designing things uh, in this class so far. So uh, you can see how they do things, and you might even be able to from you should be able to from the from the book from the worksheet that you did this week. You should be able to figure out why they're doing some of these things. They just have it. They have step-by-step -step instructions on how you're going to do this. They have, they have these control um, syringes and then the the actuator syringes. So the smaller ones give you the control. The bigger ones give you the actual action. And they have this thing rotating. They have it able to 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 move its arm upward and be able to clamp its arm. Um, and so you end up with a hydraulic arm that can move in. Uh, several different ways using the, these controls back here, these control hydraulics back here, and each hydraulic does a different thing. And you, they, some of them do. They, well, all of them are push-pull hydraulics. They, they can push or pull. Some of them are like the red one, for example, does this clamp over here. The green one lifts this bottom part of the arm. The let's see, the yellow one it looks like is uh, lifting the arm, the back part of the arm. And then the blue one seems is rotating the arm. So you have all these different functions. And those are the kinds of things that we want to be able to build into our hydraulic arm. Now I don't think uh, I don't think I've given you enough syringes to do all those hydraulics. So you're gonna have to choose which ones are most important. For example, I would guess that the clamping part of it may not be that important. You might be able to get away without a clamp. Or maybe uh, some, you know, maybe we'd be able to use <coughs> hydraulics in some uh, uh, creative way, so that two things are done at once, or something like this. But uh, uh, I can't even remember how many how many hydraulics I gave you in the kit. I'll have to go look at one of the kits. <coughs> but um, remember the. Idea of hydraulics is that you have the smaller pistons on this end and the bigger pistons on this end, 
and you'll get strength. If you have the same size pistons on each end, you'll get the same energy in or the same force in as you get out. Right? And if you have smaller on the, the working end and bigger on this end, then you'll get more movement but less uh, force. So just remember all the concepts that you've learned and you should be able to put something together. Now, like I said, I don't want yours to look just like this. I don't even, it doesn't even have to look really anything like this. But it does need to be able to pick something up. And I'm going to make the something a fairly simple thing that you should be able to pick up even without a clamping arm on the, a clamping hand on the end, for example, without this, this component here. So I'm thinking maybe like something that can be scooped up in a scoop, like a ping pong ball or something like that. So uh, I think that I've given you enough materials to do this. Uh, if I haven't, you need to tell me right away so I can either send you some more materials or we can provide them somehow. The thing that I'm not sure about is the tubing. Um, I think that I gave you 10 feet of tubing, which may or may not be quite enough. Um, probably is enough, but we'll see. Um, I can provide more of the tubing if you need, and I can even provide more syringes. I actually received some more syringes recently. They were back ordered. A bunch of them were back ordered, so um, I was slow in getting them. But anyway, um, take a look at this design, and I will send off the send off the uh, instruction sheet and uh, we will uh, on Monday we will give you all the, the details. This, would, this just gives you a, an idea of what we're doing and uh, you can get started with it or start thinking about it at the very least and see what you maybe need. That's probably the best thing for you to do this weekend if you're already done with the hydraulics and pneumatics worksheet is to start working on a design and, and decide what you need in terms of the hydraulics, the syringes, and the uh, and the tubing, so that if I need to send you some more, uh, I can do that in a reasonable amount of time. So, uh, if, anybody, if nobody has any questions, we can just get on with this. I will send this off uh, as soon as we're done here, and we'll be ready to move on the next one. Remember, your next project is a is a project that's going to require project logbook so you keep track of the things that you're doing and the planning and the design and the building and the testing process each time you do something write down all the important stuff that you did important information that you gathered things that you learned whatever else drawings uh, whatever diagrams graphs whatever uh, and if you uh, let's see if you have any questions, make sure you just contact me as soon as possible. That way, so if you get started this weekend, uh, you can tell me hopefully by Monday what you need. I can get that out to you as quickly as possible and we can get this one done for Thanksgiving. And then after Thanksgiving, we go on to three-dimensional drawing and three-dimensional building. Three-dimensional printing. So, that is that. And I'm sorry that I'm still behind in my grading, but after the pumpkin chunkin contest that we had, I kind of uh, not really gotten caught up. I've not arrived yet at the place I need to be, but I will work hard to get all those grades caught up and updated before Thanksgiving so you know how you're doing as we go into the last part of the semester. That's all I got for you today. So work hard, get your workbook, worksheet done, get started on this next thing, and we'll see you on Monday.